Yo, what's up guys, Classic Colin here with another video and we've got a little bit more news and this time it's on some craftable items that are looking pretty fucking spicy. So let's have a quick look. First thing we've got is Elixir of Coalesced Regret. Okay, Elixir of Coalesced Regret. I'm saying that right, aren't I? Coalesced, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> I see myself getting fucking roasted in the comments. Allow the imbuer to speak with the corpse of an individual with unfinished business in the mortal world. Also make your indigestion three second cooldown. So rogues can create that. No, anybody can create that with alchemy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and guess that that is for a rune. That's the only thing that makes sense for to me. So that's a rune. You heard it here first. Well, it's to acquire a rune. It's a requirement to... Ru acquire a rune what rune we don't know maybe it's a rogue rune we'll, we'll go with that one seeing as the uh, icon is very roguey okay blacksmith in black fathom sharpening stone okay while applied to the target weapon increases hit chance by two percent for 30 minutes this effect has no cooldown outside black fathom depths that's a shame you can't just chuck that two percent hit stone on your weapons at all times but hey ho, at least there's a 2% hit stone that you're going to be able to chuck on your weapon at level 25. Hits always nice and it's definitely not easy to come by in the early stages of vanilla. Or even the late stages of vanilla. What we got here? Shifting silver breastplate. Okay, so this is male. This item is infused with the raw power of the void. When the bearer is attacked, this item has a high chance of inflicting a terrible curse, causing the attacker to take additional damage from all sources for 15 seconds 25 percent proc chance and improves your chance to hit by one percent so 14 strength and six stamina i'm gonna take that for a tanking shaman sweet dope okay cool nice little items with a twist on them something that you have never seen before i'm i'm into this this is what i like to see enchanting black fathom mana oil increased mana regen and spell hit nice when applied to target weapon, restores 12 mana per 5 seconds and increases spell hit by 2% for 5 minutes. This effect only applies within Black Farm Deep, so of course it does, but it is amazing. Sweet. Buzzing with that. Some little consumables we've got to get going for raids, guys. Shredder Auto Salvage Unit. Salvage the wrecks of a shredder for spare parts. Hmm. So, possibly a way to get rune, but also... No, this is not just going to be like a graveyard of shredders is that you can just farm as an engineer to get parts to make engineering stuff i i don't see that being a thing so i'm gonna go ahead and say it's for runes possibly or maybe it's for a new engineering item there's a certain material that you can only gather from the wreckage of a shredder and you need a few of them to make this new specific engineer maybe some goggles a range of goggles who knows it's pure speculation but that they, they, those things kind of make sense to me. Leather working. So we've got the Void Touch Leather Gauntlets. Okay, three stam, six intellect, and six spirit leather. Improve your chance of critical hit with spells by 1%. And use. You descend into madness, increasing spell damage by 10%, as well as increasing the threat you generate for 10 seconds. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. It's a shame that you can't have those on a tanking warlock, because you can only wear cloth. They would be awesome on a tanking warlock, wouldn't they? Wow, wouldn't they just? We've got 6 Agility, 6 Stamina and 3 Spirit. Improves your chance to hit by 1%. Descend into Madness, increasing attack speed by 10%. As well as increasing the threat you generate for 10 seconds. Okay, Druid Tanks, here's one for you. Momentarily enter another plane of existence, instantly reducing threat, as well as reducing all damage taken and damage dealt by 50% for 6 seconds. It's a 5 minute cooldown. Increases damage and healing done by magical effects and spells by 7. And increases your chance to critically... Sorry, just your chance to hit with spells by 1%. These new items are looking dope. And you know the thing as well is this is going to completely switch up the meta as far as what professions people are going to want to go. Because everybody's going to be thinking of professions in their original state and what you're going to need to be for 60. But this, this version of the game isn't about what you're going to need at 60. Because it's about what you're going to need at level 25. And then right after you've done that and you're there, guess what? We're on to level 40 and now it's about what you need at level 40. So at that point, maybe there isn't a good item if you're a tailor, okay? And you're a mage. Maybe there isn't a good item, but you won't know. 
That's the coolest thing. You won't know. Like even this. So what? We've data mined a little bit of information. We've got, what have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six pieces of potential gear. That's it. Out of everything that there's going to be, it gives us just a glimpse. And this is this is perfect for me because it's not spoiler heavy. It's just giving us a little glimpse. It's letting us know, listen, if you're a caster, you're probably going to want to take Taylor in. Maybe you didn't before. Maybe you needed that for level 60. But the idea of taking that while you was leveling up isn't something you do. You'd always take well, gathering professions. That's just standard. But now, guys, Taylor's looking solid. So maybe you should take a look at that as well. You know, it's just letting us know and giving us a little idea of how things are going to work going into Season of Discovery. If you guys want to stay up to date with all classic news, that's classic Season of Discovery, classic Wrath of Lich King and classic Cataclysm. That whole sentence is a mouthful, but I managed to get through it. Then subscribe, guys. Like the video. Comment down below. Let me know what you're excited about with Season of Discovery. Let me know what's maybe putting you off. If there's something putting you off, maybe I can talk you around and you can join me and we can play this shit together because I'm telling you now, it's going to be a blast. Until then, catch you all in the next video. Peace.